Hey guys, today we're going to look at interpreting box plots. We're going to answer the question, what are box plots and their key feature? So a box plot looks like this. It displays a data distribution using five key numbers. So the first number is the minimum. This is the lowest value of the data set. That's going to be marked by this point. And then we have the first quartile Q1. This is the median of the lower half of the data. That's going to be marked by this line. And then the median is the midpoint of our data and it's marked by this middle line. The third quartile Q3 is the median of the upper half of the data. It's marked by this line. And then the maximum is marked by this point. It is the highest data value. The interquartile range or IQR is the difference between Q1 and Q3. So now we're gonna label the box plot with the words from above. So this point right here is the minimum. And then the ending point is the maximum. This right here was the first quartile. This is the second quartile. And this is the median in between those two. And then the interquartile range, the IQR, is the difference between Q3 and QR. Okay, let's look at this one right here. It says the following data set represents the number of gummy bears in a full size bag. Create a five number summary and sketch the box plot. So the first thing that I'm going to do is list these numbers from least to greatest. That's going to help me find all of these different numbers. So the lowest number I see is 34. Next lowest number I see is 45. And then 47, 248. 49 and 50. And let me make sure I have all of them. There were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so the minimum and maximum are easy to fill out. That would be 34 and 50. And then let's find the median next because that will show me where the middle of my data is. So the median is 48. Okay, now I need to find Q1 and Q3. So Q1 is the median of the lower half of the data. So I'm looking at this right here. So the median of that would be 45. And then Q3 is the median of the upper half of the data and the median of that would be 49. And now that I have all of my numbers, I can make my block I can make my box plot. So I'm gonna put the minimum at 34 and the maximum at 50. And then Q1 is at 45. And Q3 is at 49. And then the median was at 48. And now I'm just gonna draw the rest of the box plot, connecting everything. Okay, so there's the box plot showing the number of gummy bears in a full size bag. Okay, now I'm given a box plot and I'm going to identify the five number summary and the ranges. So the minimum is right here. It looks like it is at nine. Q1 is right here at 11. The median is right here at 14. Q3 is at 21 and the maximum is at 25. And then the IQR is Q3 minus Q1, so it's 21 minus 11, which is 10. And then the range is the maximum, which was 25, minus the minimum, which was 9, so the range is 16. 
Okay, let's do the same thing for this one. My minimum is 1.5. Q1 is between 2.5 and 3, so that would be 2.75. The median is 4. Q3 is between 4.5 and 5, so 4.75. And then my maximum is between 5 and 5.5, so 5.25. The IQR is Q3, which was 4.75, minus Q1, which was 2.75, so it's 2, and then the range is the maximum, which was 5.25, minus the minimum, which was 1.5, so the range is 3.75.